PJ from Board Game Gumbo. I've got my guest here, Bill Lassick, who designed Koi. A couple other games, uh, Bill. I think you also have a couple of spicy games you want to talk about. Yeah. Dinosaur Island is a game that I've played two or three times. I've got mixed feelings about it. I'd like to hear what you have to say. So Dinosaur Island blew me away when I first played it um, because it is it looks intense. I mean, it is a table eater. It came out in 2017, but I only played it this year. So I'll count it as a 2018 spicy title. Sure, sure. Um, and actually, I just got my Kickstarter um, for the uh, expansion in the Extreme Edition today, which – you mentioned Fireball Island. Actually, everything fits in the box. The yeah. Extreme Edition Dinosaur Island game, the whole thing doesn't even fit in the box when it's shipped. It's so much stuff is packed into that wow. box that you got about a, a, a millimeter where the lid's not all the way down. I mean, they 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 they, they produce it really good. But so yeah, no. Um, if you look at the game, it looks intimidating. Um, it's a table eater. It's this huge, huge thing on the board, but when you really break it down, it's a lot of very, very simple choices. Roll dice. What resources do you want? Okay, do you, um, where are you going to place your workers? It uh, has the engine building mechanic, but it's also very simplified. So it's a good mix of an engine builder experience, but something that's not going to fry your brain where you just need to like sit down and like just have a whiskey and like stare at the wall for a while. It's something where you can get a good, rich gaming experience, but when you're done, you're like, okay, I still got some energy to do some stuff the rest of the night. I'm not burnt out. So not too brain burning for what it does, but it does a lot of stuff, which I appreciate. So it's very thinky, but not too thinky. All right. So Dinosaur Island, you backed the 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 bigger what, – what, I'm trying to remember the name of the yeah, edition. Well, it was like the Extreme Edition. Cause, um, I only got a chance to play my friend Doug Lewandowski's game. Um, so I backed the Extreme Edition, got the um, – uh, totally liquid five player expansion in the dual star island so i have this big 20 pound box of uh games to try and go through and it's literally like 20 pounds it's it's heavy if, tech. if you were selling it to some of the people that you know we have a lot of people you and i are both in the same group the gateway and filler games group over there that bill does a yep. a, a fantastic uh i mean a chuck yeager does a fantastic job on if you mm -hmm. were talking to chuck in that group what would you tell him about this game what what, what would be the hook that you would say look if, if you know how to play Azul and you know how to play these other games, you're going to enjoy Dinosaur Island because? Well, because it, it is uh, it is the only game on the market that lets you build Jurassic Park. Okay. Um, so it's got a cool theme. And it's got enough random elements in it where a new gamer, once they learn the game, which shouldn't take more than you know 20 minutes, it, it, there, is, there is a learning curve to it. Once they get it, they can be competitive. Uh, maybe not perfectly out of the first game, but it definitely can get people playing because um, it's a lot more simplified than it looks on the table. Um, so it it looks intimidating, but it really is a nice, simple, clean experience. What I'd like to see out of Dinosaur Island, I, I found that the building part didn't seem to be as 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 much as I wanted. And I'm wondering if the expansion kind of enhances the building mm -hmm. part of it. Because let's face it, all of us remember playing the zoo tycoons of the world, the, you know, the railroad tycoons of the world on our, on our little, you know, uh, PCs or Macs. I, I'm hoping for that kind of experience. I really do want to build an exciting Jurassic park, you know? Right, 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 right. The I can, I can see that. I mean, it really depends on the tiles and what you build your resources at, but um, I've seen end game scores pretty tight. Okay. One person had, dinosaur after dinosaur on their board one person just focused on amusement park so i think there's a lot of multiple strategy you can use to win i've only played it a handful of times but every time uh the person who won was using a different strategy so um i don't know if that experience is uh going to be indicative of every game you play i like that though i do like the fact that there are multiple ways to win i, I don't yeah. want i don't want to see people say oh this is the favorite or this is the chosen way it sounds like at least in your experience there yeah. are multiple different ways, you know, different paths to getting to that final goal. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 